How is the coronavirus recession different than the 2008 Great Recession with the subprime market? Is the same thing happening again? The stock market blew up in both. Do we have a real estate bubble that has popped just like before? Let's find out. I promise I'm gonna hit it freaking 10 times harder than I did last time. just fighting for help everyone. I'm like, guys, this is not working. Today, I'm gonna to be meeting Tyler Bennett up on the rooftop. Now, you know him, he's my acquisitions director. We've done a billion dollars worth of real estate together. Man, it is a ghost town. This is supposed to be a convention center thriving where people wanna come and meet. Before I meet Tyler though, I just wanna break this down for you. There's a difference between the recession of 2008 and what we're facing right now. How, however, there are key distinctions because right now we have this big, huge health problem and back then we had a huge financial crisis. We had the stock market blowing up. We had the real estate bubble pop. It is not often that they actually do that at the exact same time. It was a perfect storm back then, but right now, what does this mean for your future? What does this mean for your ability to pay mortgage or get back to business? Will this recession be deep and long and last? Is the real estate market gonna fall out? I'm gonna get all those answers right now up there. Hey, how's it going? Good. Wow, look at this parking lot below. Yeah. There's like one car, it's yours. It's empty. And then the other one is mine. It's like, it it's is pretty empty. Wild. So dude, wild times, right? It is. Okay, let me ask you, coronavirus, uh, recession right now versus what you and I went through together in 2008, are they the same thing or are they different? No, completely different. Uh, I mean, this is really, it's a health pandemic that's having economic factors. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's the a health one. pandemic, but look at that. The stock market is freaking <laughs> crashed. It's crushed. Like, I know. That's what happened in 2008. Yeah, we've never been told to not go to work. Right. That's uh, true. And, and to stay in our houses. Like, we just never seen anything like this. So it's so different than 2008. You know, 2008 was a subprime mortgage crisis stacked on top of a recession, right? With, yeah. the, with the stock market. Both hit at the same time. That only happens like two out of five times. That is just not a normal scenario and situation. Are you saying that, that once the coronavirus like works itself out, that we're gonna be back to work and there'll be no recession? I think it'll turn on a lot faster than a normal recession like when? cycle. Predict, when is the economy gonna get <laughs> functioning again? I'm hoping, Chris, that by May, June, the lights what get year? flipped. What year? This year. No This way. year, yeah. No, there's absolutely no, we have, there's no freaking way. We have to. The, if you have one case of coronavirus, <laughs> this whole thing's gonna like explode all over again. I know, but we can't print enough money to keep everything shut down for How do you year. know that's true? Well, I don't. Like, but, like we passed $2 trillion. <laughs> Why not another $2 trillion? Why not another $10 trillion? Like, Dude, we've got to be able to do this until there's a vaccine. Honestly, I don't see them kicking the trash out of this virus and eradicating it without a vaccine, which means they've got to change their entire I, policy. I agree. The virus is going to be around. So we're either going to have to adapt and learn how to open up businesses and deal with it or stay hunkered down and have empty parking lots. I don't know. Either way, there are some big differences. First of all, 2008, there was a bubble, right? Yep. The prices were going up higher and higher and higher. And then we started building real estate that people didn't need. Everyone became an investor. Everyone was spec building on a property. And when the bubble burst, there was no one to buy that real estate. So we had all of this leftover overage and that's what dropped the prices like crazy. Yeah. Do we have a bubble right yeah. now? No, and 2008, max leverage, savings accounts were low, right? So this one's way different. People had money coming into this. Housing market, banking, financial systems were all sound with more reserves than they've ever had before. Corporations have cash in the bank. And guys, Fannie and Freddie, make no mistake, they're saying we're short 3.3 million houses that still need to be built to satisfy American needs. There's no bubble. Yeah. So by the way, real estate, if anything, is just gonna like creep to a pause. Yep. You might even go from a seller's market to a buyer's market. Yeah, less competition out there. Builders may be stalling, developing, or doing new builds, pulling permits, stuff like that. But really, I think it's just pause right now. It's on pause. I don't see it crashing or just tanking like it did in 2008, but it's gonna be a good opportunity to buy over the next three, six, nine, 12 months. So 2008, guess what Tyler and I were doing? We were actually out there, we moved a billion dollars worth of real estate. In the first five years, we made our investors over a hundred million dollars. 
because when a bubble bops, what it does is it brings the prices real low. And what you're saying is that's not gonna happen again. We're gonna see a slowdown, yeah. but we have to keep on building. The only thing that could depress the market is literally if this coronavirus hangs out longer than May, like if this is a June, July, August, September, like if this is a 12 month thing or yeah. 18 months until we get to vaccine, what might happen to the market then? Well, then we're gonna see prices drop. We're gonna see everything drop because there's gonna be no demand. So there's gonna be no, no movement in the market and innately that's just gonna drive prices down. If we start getting back to work, um, in the next two, three, four months even, I feel like prices are gonna be pretty stable in real estate. Okay, let's talk about the stock market, right? I mean, check out what's happened to the stock market. Yeah. The market has dropped down substantially. We've got like 10% unemployment, which listen, if you're sending people home, you would kind of expect that. But if this keeps going, it's actually only gonna get worse. If the coronavirus ends, whether it's in one month, two months, or three months, does the stock market go back to where it was or is this actually this stock market's recession? So I think it's gonna take companies a longer time Time to recover uh because they're getting hit hard and they're getting hit hard from a cash flow perspective okay, be specific how is this impacting your businesses right now? yeah so i have multiple businesses hundreds of employees i've laid off the majority of them okay and i my revenues are down 95 percent from 30 days ago okay just so, think about that yeah. for a 95 percent <laughs> drop in revenue laying off almost all of your people like that's crazy has the government stimulus package come through for you it did just yesterday okay and, <laughs> is, and is it going to be everything that you hoped it would no why not there's a lot more strings attached than i thought okay there's kind of a broken system here where i believe that by putting money in the private sector that'll get to the normal citizen way faster however some of my employees make more money through unemployment than they do through my employment so why would they come back dude check that out right now did you know that the government is trying to take every company and say crap we're overwhelmed we can't be the unemployment office of america so you're the unemployment office yeah. we're gonna give you this money but here's the string attached only if you'll keep your people employed but your people are 1099 and this no. does not cover 1099 it doesn't cover 1099 and all my w2 people who are getting unemployment they make more money through unemployment than if I hire them back. How are they making more money through unemployment? Because like they're getting that. a certain percentage of their wages plus that extra $600 a, uh, a week. Okay. That, so for an entry level type employee, they're making more there. So why would they, so why why would they come would they back and work for me? Work? I can't even open my doors. So yeah. they're not coming back to work. They're sitting at home. It's just, are they getting paid through unemployment or from me with stimulus money? Right now, the big question is, <laughs> like, this is crazy. It's a These cluster. Are, this is a total cluster bomb. Yes. So the question is, how then in your mind is this most different, this pandemic, than just, not just a recession, but 2008, dude, when real estate prices just like plummeted. I mean, honestly, I can't wait for that to happen again in my I, lifetime, because I, I promise I'm gonna hit it freaking 10 times harder <laughs> than I did last time. Number one biggest regret of 2008 was, I helped so many people and we did a lot, but man, there was so much, so much more to more. do. I did yeah. not know that it was gonna be so historic. Do you think if coronavirus mm. keeps on extending the way it is, employees are getting hurt, business owners are getting hurt, the government stimulus packages have strings attached, like could this actually get depression bad or really bad? Yes, it, it could get really bad. Uh, what no would it take question. for that to happen? Uh, I think time frame. If, if, if we're closed down, if we can't get our grasp around this virus and we can't get back to work, it, you can't not evict tenants for not paying. You can't give mortgages lenience on payments. You can't defer all the commercial loans. At some point, lenders need to be made whole or, or not, but yeah. people are just gonna stop making payments. So guys, reality so, is Donald Trump has done this wrong in my opinion. I think he's starting to realize, it. he's like, oh no, we gotta get the economy back to work. I'm like, bro, the only way you're getting the economy back to work is to send all of the at-risk or older people home, let them barricade their doors, give them money, slide the food through the food slot for freaking 14 months of self-quarantining and let the economy get back to work. If we don't do that, I think we will create our own depression. By the way, it'd be great for real estate, good for <laughs> business if you know how to pivot, but not everyone really knows how to pivot. Yeah, and some businesses simply cannot pivot. You know, we've seen amazing stories locally and nationally of businesses being innovative and keeping their doors open and surviving, but they're surviving, they're not thriving. Have you figured out how to be six feet away in a hair salon? And cut <laughs> no. Hair or, or like do a massage <laughs> from six feet we away? We cannot uh, uh, cut hair or wax hair um, 
or give laser treatments, right, inside of six feet. So yeah, no. So then get real with me for yeah. just a moment. Like how, like personally, like I know you have a lot of investments, you have other businesses and yeah. many things are working, but like for your businesses that are suffering right now, what is it really like? Like how worried does this have you about your future? My personal experience over the last three, four weeks is I'm working 16 hours a day, seven days a week. I'm not spending time at home with my kids or these stories you see on social media of, what do I do with my kids? And they're playing board games and doing all this stuff. Like that's not my world. I'm yeah. in survival mode and I've got employees that have relied on me that I can't do anything for. And it's frustrating, it's hard. So guys, I want you to understand with this market that we're in right now, mm. this is weird, different and crazy. This is a global crisis. And right now the pain is being felt everywhere. And personally, if this is actually gonna get fixed, it's gonna be world leaders and governments coming together and saying, you know what? We have to make the hard decisions. Either let the old people die, which no no one is going to let happen. I wouldn't let that happen. They're going to have to start putting the resources to those at risk and let the economy open up. Because if we kill off the global economy, now you have to start weighing out the horrible moral question of, uh-oh, do I choose to kill off the global economy or do I allow, unfortunately, these people to pass? There's a middle yeah. ground. There's a solution on that, but they're not getting there. Everyone is just fighting for help everyone. I'm like, guys, this is not working. I would not want to be a politician right now, oh right? Gosh, because right. you have this balancing act and it's so new. They've never dealt with it before. And so everybody's just taking information that changes daily, hourly, by the minute, and figuring out what do I do with that information? How do I respond? And so that's what we're trying to do our best of in my business and our real estate business is what do we do based on the information we have? But there's a way to get back to work. Yes. And you gotta be creative. Yes. And in the beauty industry, I've seen stats that 25 to 40% of them are never gonna reopen based off the damage they've already experienced. Yeah, they And can. so you've got to figure out how to not be in those percentages and, and, and figure out how to make it work. Dude, here's the biggest problem. Right now we're killing it in real estate. We're going to keep going out there. We're going to keep buying. It is most definitely when fear is at a high or everyone runs this direction, it's always a good time to be in real estate. But here's the thing right now, the government stimulus, it's not working all that well. You filed for yours and got it yesterday. I filed for mine and I'm getting my check tomorrow. But you know what the problem with it is? First of all, the local bank has actually said, we're not going to do it the way the S SBA is actually saying, we're not going to do the rules over the last 12 months. We're going to do 2019. I got shortchanged 30% of my money and yep. they said, tough. It's the only way we can help as many people. By the way, we're almost out of stimulus. It's going to be gone. And it's like, take less, take what I can get and sign something saying I can never go after the rest. Yeah. And they're going to run out of money before some banks even got their act together to accept applications. I know. I know. Like, so, yeah. So I feel blessed in that regard, but right now no one was really ready for how crazy this is. So here's your takeaway message that I, I guys want you get out of this, right? 2008 was a total different scenario. It was the perfect storm. It was a massive real estate bubble popping. And at the exact same time, we had the stock market crashing. Right now, the stock market is crashing because of what happened with the coronavirus. And when it cleans itself up, whether it is 14, 16 months from now, or whether it's in one or two months, somewhere in there, the market has to rebound. Real estate won't need to. If anything, real estate gets juicier, depending on like the longer this goes, the better real estate gets is a really important takeaway. And and frankly, the faster that we get back on our feet, the real world can get back to doing business and we can all get made whole financially as best as possible. So my friends, Tyler Benedu, thank you for being yeah, here today. You bet. On the rooftop, social distancing <laughs> from all of you people out here that are not actually there. Well, my car is wet. I got my top up. So, um, but the reality is I feel like a very blessed human being. So it's okay. Uh, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of suffering out there in the world today. Listen, I want to thank you for watching today's video all about understanding the difference between what is happening with this recession and the coronavirus, how different it is from what happened 2008, why it is still such a great time to actually get business moving in the right direction, certainly investing in real estate, hoping that the economy gets jump started soon. For those of you that want to connect more with me on this topic and understand why it's so good in real estate, check out my report on my last billion dollars worth of real estate. Click the link below. I'm going to send my track record in the mail to you and you can review it and literally see all the addresses and see my strategy and you know what I want you to do what's called R&D rip off and duplicate take advantage of my system and then take it apart and then go implement it yourself and make as much money as you can because I'm telling you right now it is the time it might be raining cats and dogs but that doesn't mean you can't be actually thriving not just surviving peace out see you tomorrow